Hello, this is Edo Array from Bricks Maven. And in this video, we're going to answer the question why we need a design system. Now, most of you are using Bricks Builder and most of you are also using a CSS framework. And you know the benefits of using a CSS framework, how it helps you keep things consistent, manageable, and scalable. And that is uh, uh, the workflow that we are all enjoying and the same workflow you can also enjoy in Figma. It does take some kind of setup, but I've got you today because the Alpha Figma UI kit comes with blocks that are tagged with variables, styles, and it helps you easily manage your, pro your, your, your projects, right? So I just thought of, hey, I'll just show a simple visual example of why you need a design system so that you can see the benefits of using the design system and you would grasp the idea pretty quickly. So in front of you, we have two sections. One has no tokens and no styles and one has tokens and styles. The difference between a token and a style is a style is consists of multiple properties values, right? So we can have a, I can have a text style that has the the font size information, the color, no, not the color, sorry, the font size information, the, the font weight, the font family. So it has more information in it. Whereas a token just holds a single, uh, um, a single, uh, um, part of, a, of, of, of the styling of a, of a font, right? So it could be a, it could be just the font weight. It could be just the font size, etc. So that's just the difference between a token and a style. So. In this case, you can see a section that has no uh, uh, no tokens and no styling is actually equi equivalent to a section in HTML CSS that is styled on the ID level. You can see it that way, right? So every single change needs to make needs to be made on the element level. So you need to go to the heading, make the change there. Go to the uh, text, make the change there. Go to your accent heading, make the change there, etc., etc. Go to your car there. Uh, if you, if you if you have been starting at D level, you would know how that is on a project where you have multiple cards and multiple locations, and you need to go to every single card, every single element, and make that change there. And your client might say, "Hey, I want this heading to to be a little a little bit smaller," and you have to go and say, hey, "Okay, 28 pixels here, 28 pixels, sorry, 28 pixels here, and 28 pixels here." So this is what we will get and this is what we'll see. And you know how tiring this is and how ineffective this is, right? But with a section that has tokens and styling, you don't need to do it that way. So let's do the same thing here. So you can see there's a styling attached to it. If I want to make the styling larger or smaller, I could just click on the style, go to, go to the settings. And you can see here it has been tagged with a font size token and font size we have different we have text from 4xs till until 4xl right so you could say right now the uh the h3 heading has a text l font size which is show which is showing the 28 uh, point uh, uh size right so i could say hey i want it smaller right and choose the text M token and it changed everywhere as you can see on all the cards I didn't need to go to every individual card to, card to make that change and this is the power of a design system and this same change will be um, enforced throughout all the places where the H3 heading token is used so you don't need to go to every place it's changed everywhere and that has its uh, benefits. Obviously, you, you save time and you don't need to do it. You don't need to make the change everywhere, which is a good thing, right? Um, there may be instances where you might only want this specific card to change. Then you would need to create a separate token to make that and then tag them so that they so that this uh, card that has this specific heading only has that change. But in this case, we might also say, hey, I want my I want it to stay text L but I want it to be a little bit larger. Then we could go to our local variables, go all the way to font size. And on the L we say, we want it to be 32. And you see, there it is. It becomes a little bit larger. So let me just put it back. 
and I'll just give you another example. Okay, let's say we want all our headings to have a, uh, we don't want them dark, we want it to have a color, right? So all our headings are tagged with a, with a heading color, uh, color variable, color typography variable, right? So in this example, we'll go back to our local variables. We'll go to colors, typography, and you see here that our heading uh, token is mapped with the color base uh, token. So we can just say, in this case, let's say we we'll give it a the accent color, or you could say, uh, could give it a primary, it's also possible. So all our headings will now become red, as you can see here. This will also change soon. The reason why there's some there's some delays because it's going through the whole file everywhere where the where this tag uh, where the heading tag has been used in this case this is the this is a h1 tag yeah h1 so everywhere this has been used to go there and make those changes and to show you an example real quick if i go to our I think hero everything should be red see everything is red so um let me just put that back real quick uh, and oh for example you might see some spaces like here where it's not red the reason being is because this is a um, i have a dark heading variable and a light heading variable so if i want that to be red too i would have to make the change there as you can see here let me expand this here you can see heading light and heading so i would also have to change this but we're just going to bring this back and put put the base color base and there it goes updating it everywhere okay let's go back to our example and see everything has been changed back again so the same this same goes for every every element has been tagged so this is normally your 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 body text this is your body text so they all have the same size if you want to bump it you do it the same way you can also change the color because it's also tagged with a token so all the elements are tagged and are editable and easy, easily uh, it can be easily changed right and this will save you a lot of work a lot of headache and win you a lot of time and you can finish your projects faster so I hope you have seen the benefit of using and having a design system. And in the next video, I'll go into Figma variables and I'll just show you around and how it works and and how you can customize things. I've already shown you a little bit how to customize things, but we'll just go a little bit more in depth. Okay, see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye.